Hey guys, welcome back. In last video, we learned how we can create continuous integration pipeline so that we can use artifacts created from that pipeline to manually deploy the web app to the iOS server. In this video, we will see how we can utilize the release pipeline to make this process automated to achieve continuous delivery or continuous deployment. I'm on the Azure Devo portal and let me select releases from the left menu. Here I can see no release pipeline found. The reason for this is there is no pipeline yet enabled. So let us create a new pipeline. While working on release pipeline, we have to set two main things. First is the artifacts and second is the stages. Artifact is the location from where we can get our DLL and binaries so that we can deploy to the destination server. So let us first add the stages. Here I want to deploy my application to IIS server. So I will search for IIS. As my application is very simple and it does not have any SQL server connection. So I am choosing IIS website deployment stage. Let me name the stage and let us move to the job configuration. Here you can see the stage name is appearing. Configuration is the IIS website. Action is create or update. Whatever website we want to give, the name we have to choose here. So in the previous video, we hosted our site here, name dev site. So let us utilize it only. Now to add bindings, let us go to IIS again and let us see which port we are using for this website. So for this website, we are using 81 port. So let me bind that port here. You can bind any port, but I am just choosing the initial one which I have already binded my application. Click on edit binding and it will open this dialog. Just go here and change this port number. Click OK. Now let us go to IS deployment. Here display name is IS deployment. So that is fine for me. If you would like to change, you can change it. In the deployment group, it is asking me this is a mandatory field and it is giving me a drop down, but in the drop down, I cannot find anything. The reason is we haven't set up any deployment group. So let us see what is deployment group and how we can set up. The deployment group is the connection with the server where we want to host our application. Let us go to the setting and add a deployment group. You can directly go here in the deployment group or you can click here to directly navigate to the page. I'm in the deployment group. And I can see there is no deployment group. So let us add a deployment group here. You can name anything. This is for the dev environment. So I'm just naming it dev deployment group. And let us click on create. I'm in the dev deployment group edit section. And I can see it is asking me to choose type of target to register. On the Azure DevOps, I would like to register my Windows machine, my local machine. So I can choose Windows. If you have a Linux machine, you can choose Linux as well. And there is a PowerShell script. We have to utilize this PowerShell script to register our machine on Azure DevOps. For the authentication, we have to add personal access token. So let me click here. Once that is done, let us copy to clipboard. Once it is copied, it is asking us to run from administrator PowerShell command prompt. So let us go to the PowerShell command prompt as an administrator. I have opened PowerShell with admin rights. Let me paste the script and run it. There is some error. Let us resolve this error. I have pasted it here and I can see there is no proper quotation mark here. Let me correct it. Let me copy, paste and execute. This process will take a couple of minutes to execute and register your machine to the Azure DevOps. Now we can see the deployment group registration process is asking us to provide some input. So the first thing is enter deployment group takes for agent. I do not want to enter any group name. So just enter. Enter user account to use for the service. I want to utilize the default system account. So I'm pressing enter again. Enter whether to prevent service starting immediately after configuration is finished. Actually, I want to start the service immediately after the deployment. So again, pressing enter. Registration is successful. Let us go to deployment group and see what has happened. I'm here on the deployment groups page and I can see my server is still offline. 
it will take some time to be online when i refresh the page i can see my target machine is online let us utilize this dev development group to continue with our release pipeline i'm clicking on the refresh button to get my group i can see dev deployment group is now available i have selected it we are not going to utilize required tags but if you want to utilize it you can this is very useful when we have multiple servers and you want to deploy it to particular server having particular tags when we have multiple targets you can either choose to deploy parallelly or one by one let us keep all other settings as it is and let us move to the next step i'm clicking on is web app manage here i can see it is asking for physical path so my this application is hosted on this path so i would like to utilize the same path i have copied the path and pasted it here authentication is the same i want to create or update the app pool because when i initially set up my application i had created an app pool so i'm choosing this create or update app pool in my eyes i can see my app pool name is dev site let me give the same name all other settings are as it is so let us move to the next step i'm clicking on is web app deployment i do not want to change anything here this is saying take app offline so when your deployment is happening your application will be offline so in this case i would like to take my application offline while it is deploying i have selected this option let us save this it is asking me to give the folder so that we can classify our release pipelines this is very useful when you have multiple pipelines let us go back to the pipeline step here i can see my one job and two tasks are proper there is no error let me now go and add the artifact so add an artifact here from where we have to choose our artifact so my artifact is available in my build pipeline so i have choose build which is the project so project is fast starter and what is the source pipeline i can see fast turtle a pipeline is already available so let us select it which version i want to utilize so i want to utilize the latest version and source alias is okay no need to change any other thing let us click on add button now configuration to this release pipeline is done let us just rename this pipeline and let us save it my release pipeline is ready now let us enable continuous deployment trigger when we enable this trigger a release will be created every time when a new build is available let me click on save to save the changes now let us go to the code and apply some changes so that we can see the release in action i am in the visual studio and i have added some code let us commit the changes push is completed let us go and create a pull request changes are merged let us go to pipeline you can see here this pipeline is running pipeline is completed let us go to releases and see what has happened i can see a release is automatically triggered let us go to the stages deployment is in progress let us wait for some time now i can see the deployment is succeeded now let us go to the website and see if our changes are available or not this is the last changes which we had applied let me open this website in a new tab and see if our changes are available so yes i can see here the changes are available so this is the process how we can achieve continuous deployment let us again go to the releases and see the pipeline in our case release pipeline will run every time whenever there is any ci succeeded if we do not want to enable that thing we can just go here and disable this and we can set up some schedule so that on that particular time this will trigger a deployment we can go to the schedule enable it and we can add the time accordingly so guys in this video we have seen how we can achieve continuous deployment via azure devops release pipeline i hope you like the video if you like the video please click the like button and share with your friends or colleagues and if you are new to this youtube channel please subscribe to my channel thank you